go ahead and book the theater. A few years ago, I had a conversation on one of my prior podcasts with Ali Goldberg, who is a hilarious comedian uh, and has taken her comedy through many different forms, whether it's uh, in person through uh, tag teaming on the blogologues, uh, live performances of take, taking the internet and turn it into live comedy uh, or working with her partner, uh, Jen in Gold Jam Creative and bringing workshops over to organizations to help them communicate in, in ways that matter for their organizations internally and externally. Uh, she's someone and she's someone who has consistently shown up as someone that's willing to go beyond what most other people would do in order to really just bring out her creativity. And in that conversation that we had, uh, she brought up this concept of booking the theater. And she was sharing with me her story about the first time that she and her partner, Jen, were trying to bring their vision to life. And eventually, after all the planning and all the going back and forth and strategizing and wondering if it could or couldn't be done, she said, ultimately, we just had to go ahead and book the theater. We didn't know whether or not people would show up, uh, but everything changed after we booked it. Once the date was on the calendar, once we, the deposit was in, it put us in a totally different mindset and they went forth and they did what they needed to, to get people to come and uh, see the show. And the things that she's done since then uh, have only continued to grow. It got me thinking here today around booking the theater. There's some programs that I've been launching. One of them in particular that I'll just call myself out on here uh, is the Possibility 2045 series, where it's a series of conversations that are really important and meaningful that need to happen, not just about our time today, but about the world that we are shaping by through our existence right now. 25 years from now, what would the world look like? Or in the world in, in 2045, what would we want the world to look like? And these are a series of conversations really geared to help us have those conversations now so that we can start to build toward that through our current actions. And with that there, I can feel myself finding different ways to not actually bring that out to life. And so I'm choosing to book the theater. You'll find a date and time for uh, our first possibility 2045 uh, conversation coming up. And depending on when you watch this here, you might've watched this after we've already booked the theater and possibility 2045 is well under its way or we're on to something new. Regardless, things change once we decide to put the date on the calendar and move on from there. So what's this, what's the idea that you've been mulling around in your mind? What's the thing that has been uh, wanting to come to life that you're waiting on, maybe waiting to get everything right, maybe to figure out if it's the right time, if you can be able to sustain it, so on and so forth. And I'm going to invite you in the next 24 hours to pick a date and book the theater, whatever the equivalent of that happens to be for you. It could be sending out the email to various people. It could be uh, having a conversation with uh, with the person that you want to partner with. It could be just hidden launch or send on whatever has been in development for a, a while with you. For me, I'm going to go talk to someone on my team and just ask for to put some dates on the calendar for these possibility 2045 sessions. Regardless of if I know exactly what's going to take place in it, those dates will be on the calendar. We will meet and we will through our experiences, start shaping the world as it will look 25 years into the future. <sighs> There's something really, it's so interesting how even the shift inside uh, has already taken place, knowing that this is taking place now. I got curious. Let me know what happens for you. What's the theater that you need to book? 
uh, right now. Leave a comment. Let's engage in a conversation around this. Wherever you're listening to this, let's let's just start a conversation through uh, through the comments. And if you are interested in going further and exploring this, I'm actually going to use this as an opportunity to invite you to an upcoming Possibility 2045 session. Uh, we do this uh, at currently through the Trailblazer Tribe. So you can go to niyama.com slash tribe and you'll get invitations to come and join us in an upcoming 2045 session where we are gonna spend our time exploring questions that will help us shape the future. Mm. I'll see you there. Here's the thing, you got this. I know you do. And we, we got you. Journey on. We're just getting started. Click on the link below to watch the full conversation and go to niyamashan.com slash tribe to get additional resources and exclusive invitation to tribe only events. Journey on.